ஸ்ரீ ஆனந்தமய மாத்து கி ஜே தேர் ஹேட் பின் நோ அர்லியர் நாலேஜ் ஆஃப் த எசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிரம்மா ஆர் ஆஃப் எனி காட்ஸ் அண்ட் காடெஸஸ் திஸ் பாடி ஹேட் நீதர் ஹர்ட் அபவுட் தேம் ஃப்ரம் எனி ஒன் நோ ரெட் அபவுட் தேம் இன் எனி புக் திஸ் வாஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் that these things had automatically emerged from her mouth just as earlier the special mudras asanas rituals and kriyas had manifested in her body while performing formal puja there had been no astrological knowledge of the stars or almanacs either when bhulanath and nishi babu entered the room this body had been engaged in the sandhya puja and the associated kriyas that night after everyone had their meals i sat down again after the usual kriyas i became still the hands formed a new asana on the ground and i sat on it after which appeared all the preparations for the evening puja I noticed everything was new that day the seated posture the rituals etc from then onwards the asanas that had appeared during one part of the day were not repeated in the other part puja japa everything would be different various deities would manifest themselves with their respective forms qualities beej mantra and meditation but the mantra of the first night stayed with me all the time although the bhav for kar puja gradually receded whatever appeared once in its entirety did not reappear with various asanas mantras and stotras emerging from the mouth the eyes would close and the hands would complete the worship on this body's head the khayal was that i was the worshipper the tantra dharak the deity to be worshiped the seeker the spectator and the listener these different bhavs developed in an uninterrupted sequence acquiring full prominence and perfection in the body day after day the manner of vaishnavites applying tilak while reciting mantras the shaktas and shaivites way of applying vermilion kumkum and the sandal paste or the way brahmacharis adorn themselves with vibhuti as well as the actions and mannerisms of sanyasis manifested themselves in this body at the proper time in complete harmony with the corresponding mantras the divine moods of that period cannot be expressed in words it can only be said that the worship of many different deities with their specific forms and characteristics manifested in totality within this body during this period if someone asked me anything regarding these matters i would sometimes shrink within myself like the mimosa becoming absolutely quiet If anyone were watching the kriyas would withdraw within the body as a result these phenomena remain hidden from people however sometimes the little that needed to be manifested at any particular time was spontaneously revealed while worshiping these deities the asanas and mudras associated with each deity would form on their own The kriyas would begin before the puja and not only continue through its duration but also remain as long as necessary even after it had ended. Shri Shri Anandamayi Mat Ki Jai